for you guys were using uh, the new brooms at the uh, at the Olympics after experimenting by the Canadian Curling Association. Can you just kind of describe how they worked, uh, what the setup was of the broom, and how they worked for you guys? Well, I've never actually seen one <laughs> dismantled. <laughs> the inside, you but mean. from what I, from the inside, but from what I understand, they they underneath this layer of cloth, um, yes. they apply a thin layer of foil, sticky foil, um, to the the cushioning and put the top back on and, and you're good to go. And in theory, what is that supposed to do? In theory, I think it's supposed to maintain some of the heat that's generated when you create friction. Right. Which should, I guess, carry the rock a little further. So, in your practical experience, I mean, did it make a difference? Uh, there was other people who suggested, you know, the Olympic kind of uh, adrenaline helped as much as any kind of mechanics in the room. Yeah, well, and 5,000 plus people cheering you on for sure helped. Um, I mean, I think it's inconclusive. I, I don't think it hurt. Um, I, I think it's, it's great that they're doing this kind of research. Um, you know, as I mentioned yesterday in another um, talking to someone else. I mean, we also changed our broom heads every five ends, so we had nice, you know, right. rough fabric, too. So, I mean, I, I think it's, you know, it's potentially positive. Um, was that the only factor in it? Couldn't say for sure. Coming down a bit. They gave us quite a bit of information about broom heads and yeah. not just the foil. Right. We used it for one event in Guelph yeah. and found that it didn't help us. If anything, it hindered us because we lost the surface a little right. bit faster. Cause it was too much heat. Yeah. There's, there's such thing as too effective when it comes to sweeping.